Alfie, well done. A really good win over a tough opponent in Juice. Uh, just two matches away from the Crucible potentially now. I, I know you always wear your heart on your sleeve. Can you dare to dream at this point? Uh, not really, no. It's um, so many good players here. Every match is like a battle, really. And um, I'm delighted with that scoreline, really. I know he's a quality player, and, but I know I'm still a quality player. I've put the preparation in for these qualifiers and I don't fear anyone. So one match at a time, we, we, we tackle the next game and we see where we go from there. It's obviously been a long time since you've been in those final stages of this, this event yeah. at the Crucible. I think it was 1998 was when you mm. were there. I mean, it, it, it does mean a lot to players, doesn't it, this? And how, how much would it mean to you if you could... could oh, it would mean the world, world, like to me, my family, my friends, anyone, everyone who supports me. It means absolutely everything, but I can't, you know, I can't think along them lines. I've got, I know I've got a tough game next in Jamie Jones and then, you know, possibly be playing Neil Robertson, who... You just can't believe's here, but um, like I say, I'll take one match at a time. And if um, if I manage to beat Jamie Jones, you know, I'll go into the the final match, whoever that's against, full of confidence. Yeah, I think confidence that that is always you know from an outside observation that's always been one of your great assets, hasn't it? You, it's something you've, you've never lacked. So I suppose going up against these big players, it's the sort of thing that you'll relish. No, I mean, I, I mean, I've beat all the best players in the game across my career, so. I don't fear anyone. I still believe my game's good, despite my age. Um, you know, people make big thing of ages, but you've only got to look at the game now. How all the older boys are still winning all the tournaments. Um, so yeah, I don't see my age as a problem, and I still feel my game's good. And yeah, like you say, I don't lack confidence. So if it's Neil Robertson, I'll go in there fully confident of winning. You know. And I suppose yeah, that whole thing of you know, 1998 being the last time you're 26. You think you. Played Tony Drago on that occasion. It, it, it is amazing that you know you're still here battling to try and get onto that bigger stage again. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's phenomenal, really. If someone, when I got there in '98, if someone had said I'd never have got back there, I wouldn't have believed it. But you know, I, I I point the finger at myself mainly over the years. I've not dedicated myself enough to the sport, and you know, I've made a lot of mistakes. And I still love the game ultimately, so that's why I'm still playing, and I still love competing. I'm a fierce competitor. Anyone on the tour, I tell you that. If they play me, I'm not going to roll over for anyone. So, um, you know, I love being out there. And, not, you know, it means so much to me to get to the Crucible, but I know how hard it's going to be. Well, it's great to hear you're enjoying it. It's been a bit of a journey over the last year, hasn't it? Because, you know, rewind to sort of this time last year, it was a great achievement to get to that Seniors World Final at the, yeah, at the Crucible. Yeah. But it, there were some difficult moments after that, wasn't there? You, you considered hang up your queue, yeah. went to queue school and, and, and got back on. Yeah, so to be real, here now, it's, it's, it must, must be a good feeling to be where you're at now. I mean, some real difficult moments, you know, question myself. Like I said, I've made so many mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes within that Seniors tournament and, you know, I still regret that. Um, don't want to go into that, but... You know, I'm. Um, I feel like I'm playing very good snooker. I've put like a month's worth of preparation in for this, and I think that shows. All right, the lad I played today probably didn't play his best, but I feel I I probably attributed to that by putting him under pressure. Um, I feel like I'm going to score every time I get in, so I feel I can uh, give anyone a game. Well, well done today, and all the best in the next round. Thank you, Roddy.